Front with C zero zero at one six go C three. Sunway C one left C F line. Air France is the flag carrier of France and headquartered in Tremblay. It is a subsidiary of the Air France KLM Group and a founding member of the SkyTeam Global Airline Alliance. As of 2013, Air France serves 36 destinations in France and operates worldwide scheduled passenger cargo services to 175 destinations in 78 countries and also carried 46,803,000 passengers in 2019. The airline's global hub is at Charles de Gaulle Airport, with Orly Airport as the primary domestic hub. Air France's corporate headquarters previously in Montparnasse, Paris, are located on the grounds of Charles de Gaulle Airport, north of Paris. Air France formation in early years. Air France was formed on 7 October 1933 from a merger of Air Orient, Air Union, Compagnie Générale Aéropostale, Compagnie Internationale de Navigation Aérienne, and Société Générale de Transport Aérienne. During the Cold War, from 1950 until 1990, it was one of the three main Allied scheduled airlines, operating in Germany at West Berlin's Tempelhof and Tegel airports. In 1990, it acquired the operations of French domestic carrier Air Inter, and international rival, Union de Transports Aériens. It served as France's primary national flag carrier for seven decades, prior to its 2003 merger with KLM. In 2018, Air France and its regional subsidiary HOP, carried 51.4 million passengers. Air France operates a mixed fleet of Airbus and Boeing widebody jets on long-haul routes, and uses Airbus A320 family aircraft on short-haul routes. Air France introduced the A380 on 20 November 2009, with service to New York City's JFK Airport, from Paris's Charles de Gaulle Airport. Air France HOP operates the majority of its regional domestic and European scheduled services with a fleet of regional jet aircraft. Air France Head Office Air France's head office is located in the Roycepole complex, on the grounds of Charles de Gaulle Airport. Hilton of the New York Times, described the facility as, a huge white box, that squats near the runways at Charles de Gaulle Airport. The 130,000 square meter complex, was completed in December 1995. The French firm, Groupement d'études et de méthodes d'ordonnancement, managed the project. The architect was Valode Pistra, and the design consultants were, Sesho Boisid and Truven. The project cost 137 million euros. The runways of the airport are visible from the building. The Air France Operations Control Center, which coordinates Air France flights worldwide, is situated at the Air France head office. For about 30 years prior to December 1995, Air France's headquarters were located in a tower, adjacent to the Gare Montparnasse rail station, in the Montparnasse area and the 15th arrondissement of Paris. By 1991, two bids for the purchase of the Square Max Hyman's building had been made. By 1992 the complex was sold to Mutual Générale de l'Education Nationale, for 1.6 billion francs. By that year, Air France had planned to move its head office to Roycepole. Taking 50,000 square meters of space inside the hotel, office, and shopping complex, on the grounds of Charles de Gaulle Airport. After Air France moved to Tremblay in France, the ownership of the former head office complex was transferred. Air France Acquisitions and Privatization On 12 January 1990, the operations of government-owned Air France, semi-public Air Inter and wholly private Union de Transports Aériens, were merged into an enlarged Air France. Air France's acquisition of UTA and Air Inter, was part of an early 1990s government plan to create a unified, national air carrier, with the economies of scale. And global reach to counter potential threats, from the liberalization of the EU's internal air transport market. On 25 July 1994, a new holding company, Group Air France, was set up by decree. Group Air France became operational on 1 September 1994. It acquired the Air France Group's majority shareholdings in Air France and Air Inter. On 31 August 1994, Stephen Wolfe, a former United Airlines CEO, was appointed advisor to the Air France Group's chairman Christian Blanc.
Wolf was credited with the introduction of Air France's hub, and spoke operation at Paris Charles de Gaulle. In 1997, Air France Europe was absorbed into Air France. On 19 February 1999, French Prime Minister, Lionel Jospin, plural left government, approved Air France's partial privatization. Its shares were listed on the Paris Stock Exchange on the 22nd of February 1999. In June 1999, Air France and Delta Airlines formed a bilateral transatlantic partnership. On the 22nd of June 2000, this expanded into the Skyteam Global Airline Alliance. Air France KLM merger. The merger of Air France and KLM occurred in 2004. On 30 September 2003, Air France and Netherlands-based KLM Royal Dutch Airlines announced the merger of the two airlines. The new company to be known as Air France KLM. The merger became reality on 5 May 2004. At that point, former Air France shareholders owned 81% of the new firm, former KLM shareholders the rest. The decision of the Jean-Pierre Referend government, to reduce the French state's shareholding in the former Air France group. From 54.4 to 44% of the newly created Air France KLM group, effectively privatized the new airline. In December 2004, the state sold 18.4% of its equity in Air France KLM. The state's shareholding in Air France KLM subsequently fell to just under 20%. Air France KLM, became the largest airline in the world in terms of operating revenues, and third largest in Europe in passenger kilometers. Although owned by a single company, Air France and KLM continued to fly under their own brand names. Air France KLM, remained part of the Skyteam alliance, which then included Aeroflot, Delta Airlines, Aeromexico, Korean Air, Czech Airlines, Alitalia, Northwest Airlines, China Southern Airlines, Air Europa, Continental Airlines, Garuda Indonesia, Vietnam Airlines and Saudi Arabian Airlines. As of March 2004, the group employed 71,654 people. As of March 2007, the group employed 102,422 personnel. Air France subsidiaries and franchises. Air France and Dutch affiliate Transavia, formed Transavia France, a low-cost joint venture in May 2007, based at Orly Airport. Air Corsica, CityJet and Air France Hop all operate flights on behalf of Air France, either as subsidiaries or as franchisees. As of January 2019, Air France was investigating how it could shut down its low-cost subsidiary June, and absorb its employees and aircraft into the parent company. Air France Hub Information Charles de Gaulle Airport Air France's intercontinental and biggest hub, with 335 daily departures. It is also a hub for Air France's subsidiary Air France Hop. Orly Airport. Air France's second biggest hub serving 40 destinations around the world. It is also a hub for Air France's subsidiaries Air France Hop, and Transavia France. Long-haul flights, are mainly operated to destinations in French overseas departments. Lyon Saint-Exupéry Airport. Air France's third biggest hub, serving 37 destinations in France and Europe, also a hub for Air France's subsidiary Air France Hop. Marseille-Provence Airport. This is Air France's newest hub, as part of its offensive in the French regions. It serves 30 destinations in France, Europe and Africa. Nantes Atlantique Airport. Air France flies to 11 destinations from Nantes. Nice Côte d'Azur Airport. Air France flies to four destinations from Nice. Toulouse Blagnac Airport. Air France flies to 14 destinations from Toulouse.